Hi guys, welcome back to Valerie's Home and Gardens. Now, I am going to do a little sound off and I hope you guys don't mind. So many people does it, including train designers and decorators, stagers, stylists. So many of us make the same faux pas. Now, I like to watch decorating, designing, gardening, cooking shows, and I also like the magazines. I like to browse the internet because we all get inspiration from looking at other people's work, right? I know something's wrong when I see it. We have this thing in decor and design where we say that rules are made to be broken. Yes, there are lots of rules that can be broken, but this one, no, I don't think it should be broken. Why? Because it doesn't look good. And the worst thing of all, it's a tripping hazard for your friends and family and clients. Stop putting a tiny rug underneath your dining table and chairs. Get the correct size rug. You may think it's pretty, it matches my style, it matches the color in my decor, but when the chairs are, the feet of the chairs are straddling the rug, and can't even sit on the rug and as soon as you pull the chair off pull the chair out it falls over the edge it's definitely a tripping hazard i'm sure that most of us know exactly how to measure and calculate to get the proper size rug it doesn't matter how beautiful the shoes are if they squeeze my toes, they're no good. It doesn't look good. It's going to be uncomfortable. So if you have forgotten how to do that calculation, if you need a little help, just check out that video I uploaded recently. As a matter of fact, I uploaded two. One's a long version and one's a short version. And I appreciate your comments, guys. So please leave your thoughts below. Like share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.